Hello, welcome to VAD Inspires. Uh, today, I want to talk about moral relativism. So, in essence, it is simply the, 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 the issue of right and wrong. A quote once says, There is no right or wrong. That is just what is and what isn't. So, things are just our. So come to think of it, I think it, it all matters in, in, in the relationship between experience and perspective. People develop lenses, people develop knowledge about something based on how they were raised, their religion, culture, political views, you know, health styles, lifestyles. So, uh, 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 things are not understood until they are actually given a meaning. The meaning we give it, something that we say about something makes it right or wrong. So, in this sense, it is thoughts, processes, emotions. This is what we attach to our thinking. Sometimes it limits us. It hinders us from progress. From going out and doing something that is worthwhile. So I'm talking about self-development self now. So the role of self-development and going after something that is more in terms of right and wrong. So let's take for example money. Being rich. Some people blatantly believe that being rich is so wrong and filthy that rich people are cutthroat, filthy, not good people, stamp and, uh, you know, take out the right of others. If you're one of the masses that believe this to be true, then you don't see being rich as something right. You see it as something wrong. Maybe you've had experience of some rich or cutthroat person but if you don't understand that it's just an experience, that it's not, it's not like a generality between people who are rich, then you're going to mistake being rich with being someone that is filthy, cutthroat, bad. Because guess what? These terms apply to everybody. So being rich is just something you do. It's not attached to a particular personality or characteristic because some people have good hearts and they are rich you can model those people and follow them you just have to look for them so that's why it's important not to be quick to judge a situation or something or a person is to always try to look at a collective view overview of that particular issue Allies are important too. So the issue of right and wrong, in the terms of philosophical sense, it's even more broader. In the terms of self-development, self-image psychology, it's even, even more important in our daily lives. Because we so have these limiting beliefs that are they don't have any 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 real real reason or, or strong point why we believe in them we just believe in them because why some group of people that are part of us believe in them so you don't he you don't have to use the hand that you were dealt with right you don't have to play the card that you were given you can choose not to play it we cannot choose what life deals us but we, what we can choose and what we should choose is how we play it, right? If you adult poverty, you, 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 you shouldn't play poverty. You should play the, uh, a different card or throw away the deck and just get your own cards, right? So this is where I'm taking this uh, our issue of moral relativism of right or wrong and I'm taking it to other stuff. Now, being rich is one example. Other example could be culture, religion, political views, and whatnot. Also, worry is another stuff. 
you know, it's been said that many things we worry about never actually happen. This is very true. You know, you, you want to know if your worry is real? Sentence it to the court of reasoning. Okay? So, I think, I think I just wanted to reflect on that. I just wanted to point that out. And I think it's very vital that we actually do. So, I hope this finds you or gives you some kind of, some kind of inspiration about something. Uh, thank you and uh, God bless and be great.